Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today you can probably tell that I'm in a completely different location and that's because Connor broke my lighting. So I've got to come to Connor's house and film my videos at Connor's house with his lighting. So you can all blame Connor for that. So today I'm filming in his bedroom and today's video is my four best pieces of advice for going back to school or joining senior school or just being at school in general. I was going to do life hacks and then I started writing the list of things that I was going to say and I realised that they really weren't actually life hacks at all, they were more like pieces of advice. Um, so I completely just changed the video idea. So let's just jump straight into it. My first piece of advice, and actually to be fair this, this one is kind of a little bit like a life hack, but a school hack slash piece of advice. The first one is when you get your lunch money and this is what i used to do and this is also what my brother used to do and it used to really work when you get your lunch money whether it's given to you by your parents or whatever you should only spend like half of it and then put half of it in a jar and then by the end of the month you'll have like so much money to go out and treat yourself or treat your mom or treat your dad or treat your sibling treat your girlfriend treat your boyfriend you could actually do so much with the money so let's say you got like three pound a day you only spent one pound fifty of that you've got one pound fifty every single day of the month barring weekends obviously to put in a jar and then just treat yourself at the end of the month and that's actually quite itchy elbow that's actually quite a rewarding thing to be able to do to get to the end of the month and buy yourself a new pair of trainers or buy yourself a new item of makeup or item of clothing or something You've like said well done to yourself for that working hard at school for the whole month. Number two, this piece of advice I feel really, really strongly about because I went to quite a few different schools and I've got very, very different friends in all areas. I've got very academic friends, but I've also got very creative friends. So wherever I go, I always feel like if I'm around friends, I'm very in I'm kept very interested. I don't know what is wrong with my elbow. I always feel that I've got such a different variety of friends. I'm always very interested in what they're doing, how they're feeling, what they've been up to and stuff like that. So when I joined Bidariki for my last year of school, I made friends with so many different types of people and so many people that had different interests. It was really interesting for me to see and I also got a lot of help from these people like I joined a new school I didn't know a lot of academics from the previous school I'd gone to and they helped me with my homework in all different classes and they helped me with all my drama pieces and all stuff like that so thank you to those people and that's probably my strongest bit of advice get to know everyone get to know their life stories get to know their backgrounds get to know their interests their hobbies their dislikes their likes absolutely everything and you will find yourself more excited to go to school every day because you get to go and meet these interesting people and hear these interesting stories and likewise you get to tell them your interests and tell them your stories. Number three, I would highly suggest that when you're at school, whether it be primary school, secondary school, college, sixth form, even like apprenticeships and stuff like that, I would highly suggest that you find yourself a study buddy. I don't know if they still call them study buddies anymore. Um, but study buddies are really, really helpful. They're helpful for a few reasons. So number one, you don't have to study on your own. You can revise and do your homework with someone else. And it also doesn't just have to be one person. It can be a group of you. But obviously when it's a group of you you have to be careful that you don't just sit there having like a little gossip and a little chat and a mother's meeting you actually do need to do some work so you don't have to study on your own secondly school can be quite a stressful place especially these days and especially when you get into sort of like your GCSEs and your A levels and stuff like that so it's nice to have someone there that's also going through the same thing I never did my A levels so I didn't get half the stress that most people in school get at the moment i would suggest getting a study buddy you can bounce ideas off each other you can correct each other if one of you is doing something wrong like in work and and stuff like that you can tell each other no it's actually like this and 
that actually could be make or break in your GCSEs or A-levels. If somebody is there to correct you if you're getting something wrong and help you get it right, that's just like one extra mark or two extra mark or three extra marks that you've got in your GCSEs or in your A-levels or something like that. So get a study buddy and try and ensure that it's not someone you're just going to sit there and chat with or end up going to the cinema or something like that. Make sure you actually do some work. Number four. Now, this one's going to sound like a really, really strange one. And it's probably just because I like food and drink so much. But I found this was really, really important. The whole way through your school day, I would suggest keeping yourself fed and watered. I don't know about everyone else, but when I'm hungry or thirsty, I can't concentrate. I can't concentrate on school. I can't concentrate on work. Even now, when I'm sitting doing emails and doing lists and doing YouTube ideas and stuff like that, I can't concentrate if I'm not fed and watered. So make sure you're fed and watered. Take yourself a packet of sweets just to give yourself some sugar throughout the day. And you should be okay. You don't want a lack of ideas just because you're hungry. And you also don't want to get moody at school just because you're hungry because then everyone will get young with you and that's not what you want at school. So I know this was a really short video guys, but I just wanted to give you my four pieces of advice let me know if it helps you in the comments below and also share your pieces of advice in the comments with other people. Tell me what works for you. Tell me if this didn't work for you and tell me the stuff that does. So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video guys. I'm sorry it was so short, but to be perfectly honest, there was nothing else I could say. It just four pieces of advice. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Please hit that thumbs up button. I really want to try and get to... Hmm. I want to try and get to 300 likes on this video. I don't know if that's a bit too much. Well, we'll try it anyway. I really want to try and get to 300 likes. So don't forget to click that thumbs up button and also hit the subscribe button. It will be really, really appreciated. And I'll see you guys next Sunday. Bye.